What? If you could make Cobblemon even better. Cobblemon is fantastic at adding Pokemon into Minecraft in a very Minecrafty way. But there are certain features that are missing. Today, we're taking a look at Ascension Megamons that adds Mega Evolutions into Cobblemon. Welcome to today's video where we take a look at adding Mega Evolutions into Cobblemon and we find out how we can get our hands on these marvelous, marvelous creatures. So, why don't we go and dive straight in? The first thing we'll need to do is find an Anistarite Geode, and they are packed full of goodies, including all the Evolution Stones and the Ultra Rare Mega Stone Ores. Now, these Mega Stone Ores are pretty, pretty uncommon, and the Geodes themselves are pretty hard to find, but you might be lucky enough to find one while you're digging around underground, just like an Amethyst Geode. Now, these Geodes are packed full of Evolution Stones, so if you're struggling to find a certain stone, find one of these geodes and there's plenty to find down there which is glorious and this is one of the first things you need to get into mega evolving your pokemon if you are lucky enough to find a mega stone or if you mine it with a normal pick it'll drop a raw mega stone now raw mega stones are pretty useless on their own they don't do a great deal but if you combine that in a stone cutter you will get the refined version of it and when we look here we got an aerodactylite now if you give this to your Aerodactyl, it will actually Mega Evolve. But we can't just Mega Evolve Aerodactyl straight off the bat. No, we need something else. We need to craft a Keystone, and then we need to craft a Mega Cuff. And this is the recipe over here on how to do it. If you have four diamonds, four glass, and an Anistarite uh, block in the middle, you will get a Keystone. And when you combine a keystone with six iron, just like this configuration, you'll get the Mega Cuff. And if you hold the Mega Cuff in your hand, it appears on your shot, on your wrist. Look at that, very fancy. Nice little nifty bit of kit there. But of course, Casey, how on earth do you evolve your Pokemon? Well, generally, Pokemon evolve in battle or Mega Evolve in battle, but Cobblemon doesn't work like that. That has not been coded into the game yet. As it's a side mod, they had a workaround. So let's, let's, uh, let's, I need a pick. Oh, wow. Who left this, who left this diamond pick here? I definitely didn't get this in survival. Um, so if we mine this, lovely. We've got a Charizardite Y, and I think we've got a Charizardite. X down here. Magical. And then we take our stone cutter. Make it into Charizardite Y and Charizardite X. And then we can make Charizard hold this. And then what we do next is we get the Mega Cuff and we just right click on it. There we go. Charizard has Mega Evolved. Now, let's have a look at Charizard's stats first. Let's. There we go de-evolve it into its regular form. Let's look at Charizard's stats. Now, special attack is at 128. Normal attack is at 102. If we mega evolve it, let's see what that turns into. Damn! Special attack is way up. 178. That is an enormous jump. And of course, Charizard just looks badass. <laughs> now, there are all the Generation 1 Mega Evolutions in this game. Uh, so let's take a look at Venusaur and Blastoise in just a second. Oh, I see. We can actually only Mega Evolve one Pokemon at a time. So I need to send Charizard out. And there we are. Charizard's back to normal. And if we right click on Venusaur, we have Mega Evolved Venusaur. Look, it just grows some more plants on its back. I mean, it looks pretty cool. Venusaur's not my favorite Gen 1 starter, so yeah. That's cool. And then if we go to Blastoise now, give him the blast tonight. Blastoise tonight. And then we can mega cuff it. Damn. Look at Blastoise. This model is so cool. I absolutely love this. Yep. Blastoise is my favorite Gem 1 starter. And of course, there are other Pokemon that we can mega evolve. So let's take a look at those right away. Here we have Pinsir. Let's take a look at Pinsir. Pinsir looks weird. I am surprised that Pinsir had a Mega Evolution in the first place. Because it doesn't 
team that great. Um, yeah, okay, thanks, Pincer. Um, we'll we'll take a look at you later. Uh, we've got an Aerodactyl. Where's my Aerodactylite? There. And then we use the Mega Cuff. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Aerodactyl, you're looking good. You look like a good. Got a big beard on you now. We got a Pidgeot. A Pidgeot type. There he is. And you just get a really big haircut. I mean, that looks cool. That does look cool. Uh, then we move on to Alakazam. Yeah, Alakazam, you're looking fine. Look at that big beard, those spoons everywhere. You are looking fantastic. I oh, oh, Alakazam is T-posing though. Oh, that looks weird. That looks weird. Yep, okay. Yeah, Alakazam, you can go back to... That is the weirdest walk ever. Okay. And last but not least, I'm going to show you Gyarados. Gyarados Mega Evolves. Oh, into this giant looking fish thing. You're very scary, Gyarados. And you get a dark type, which is cool. Very nice. Yeah, that's that's cool. That's cool. But I saved the very specialist for the last. We have Mewtwo. And Mewtwo evolves into two different things, just like Charizard. Mewtwo Knight X will give you a go. And Mewtwo evolves into this thing here, Mewtwo X, which is a fighting type as well, which is glorious. Now, this isn't available in the game. You have to use commands to get these to spawn in. Um, and I don't think the uh, items are in the game without commands either. But let's just have a look at Mewtwo Y. Wow. Wow. What a cool model. Such a cool model. Mega evolutions are my favorite, and I can't wait for them to be added to the main game. But for now, if this is how we have to enjoy them, I'm down. I'm down. This is a really good way of adding adding mega evolutions and stuff into the base game of Gobblemon and Minecraft. It still feels very Minecrafty. Creating a new geode that we can pick up the uh, the mega evolution stones from, which is fantastic. And using the stone cutter, genius, genius. And I love the way the armband comes on here. The mega cuff just appears on your character when it's selected. It, yeah, it's just like, yeah, I'm holding it out. I'm holding it out. We can mega revolve anytime we want. I'm down. I'm down. <laughs>